One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. What's up everyone? March 9th, 2021, back for another episode of this. Nice day in the market. Had a nice bounce. What did everybody trade today or buy today? What did everybody do today? What'd you do today? I didn't really call it, I don't really call it trading. I started some positions. So ACAD. Yikes. That looked painful. Some folks bought some Tesla calls. Yep. Nice. Well done. Well done. What is this XELA? What is that? A small cap? Oh, yep. Small cap piece of trash. Good Lord. Well, I hope you guys that shorted it are safe. We're not too badly damaged. That looks like a tough one. I mean, this is about the only freaking trade I see is in this. So, I mean, I would have taken a loss and been gone. I mean, I would have eaten a loss. I mean, I would have looked at this 270, like straight out of the gate. Uh, that would have been my only short. But the fact that we're opening at 250, I mean, a quick pop to that and a dip. I mean, that's about all the juice. But, I mean, it. The, I mean, I would have shorted when it touched 270, which would have been probably in the next bar. And yep, 270 and then no relief. So, I mean, yeah, I'm painful on that one. Painful, painful, painful. Yeah, nice trade, Jay. Good trade. Good risk management. I mean, if you if you sat around all day to take that trade, great job. Well done. Yeah, uh, what I see is I it just looks like a big pain in the ass. I mean, honestly, I I don't even see. You know, there's no break of trend really in anything. I mean, you've got this little break right there that you could justify, I guess. You know, this break of trend right there. Mm. But I, I mean, it, it's, there's no break of trend. There no, there's no loss of VWAP. So, I mean, if you can manage risk as well as, uh, as, well as JJ does, um props well done well done that takes some serious risk management to be able to capitalize on these trades especially when it's going parabolic midday like this so um xela in the news was here triple on a 10-year 90 million dollar contract so, uh, I mean, I don't know how great this contract truly is. $90 million contract, blending automation technologies, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what the, what the kind of the payout of this, like the contract details. I don't know if they pay $90 million over 10 years. Um, so, you know, $9 million a year, which... I don't even know what XELA's burn rate is. So, I mean, it would take some digging to go into that. 
Um, so if, if I had, if my gut feeling is that $90 million contract is nothing in the grand scheme of it all. Um, let's just be brief about this. Consolidated statements, assets, total liabilities. Uh, where's it at? Operating income and loss. So for the three months of 2020, um, good, but I mean, yeah, they burn 71. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and moderators at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Was that 71 million? in thousands of yeah 71 million i mean that's a crap load of money in nine months so i mean this contract depending on how it works you know you got 71 711 and this is just a rough estimate of a burn rate you know this is just operating income so that divided by nine means that they require at a minimum about eight million dollars in cash to just operate per month so, you know, they've got revenue, obviously that's fantastic for them. That was in 2019. In 2020, it looks like they've cut down their expenses, like their burn a bunch. So for 2019, that's nasty, but 20, uh, 2020, for the nine months ended in 2020 of September 3rd, I mean, that's not a terrible burn rate. I mean, granted it's a loss, but um, most small cap companies are, are way worse than this. So fundamentally speaking, that 90 million could last them quite a while, big float, but they did a one for three. I thought I saw 147 million shares and then they did a one for three right here. So there's going to be 49.2 outstanding share god bless i mean that's a big float probably if i had to make an assumption i'm not even researching the float here i mean if you did the quick and dirty finviz on that float 25 million float on a day like that i mean that's woo, daddy but it doesn't really have a history of holding anything so uh but this is obviously the biggest volume it's ever had um that's about that's about it so i don't know the details of the contract i don't know anything like that i'm not calling this a short um and i'm not saying it's a long up here either uh, i think it's kind of no man's land you know you've already made a hundred percent move uh and then some so 250 to five um in in a single day so yeah uh, anyway, all right, well, small cap is, <laughs> we got that out of our system, so now we can move on to the real stuff. Da, 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 da. All right, today, today, how long a time frame you see in your basket? Um, I'm like 30 days. I have calls that expire, most all of my calls expire in on April 16, so like a month from now. Um, I'm kind of looking at like a two week time frame, two or three weeks. I don't want to, I don't want to hold them to expiration. I want to kind of get out, you know, in the next two weeks or so. Um, that's kind of my time frame. Play trade to PayPal, Riot, NIO, Tesla, Riot. Everybody's on Riot, I guess, because of the Bitcoin thing. Yeah, nice. Nice. Bitcoin is at 55.7. Oh, GBTC, man. Gotta love that one. Okay, so let's talk about the markets. 
<laughs> we can talk about cues. We can talk about spy. We can talk about whatever we want to talk about. Um, but today we're going to, uh, do you post any of your opinions on plays? Do you post any of your options plays? I'll post it when I'm done if y'all want to see it. But I do not post it real time because I do not want anyone following me. So, um, yeah, I have this thing about posting your trades. You know, I'm, I'm fine with posting the end result of the trade. But if I don't mention the trade to you guys, I don't really feel like mentioning it at the end is going to do anybody any good uh it's going to seem very braggadocious and i don't want to seem that way so i'm not the biggest fan of uh posting trades i don't think that there's a lot to learn from posting trades in my opinion uh i've been doing this for seven years i'm a visual learner and I have never met anyone that was an inconsistent trader that could reverse engineer a trade to the point that it benefited them. Uh, so I think that um, posting trades is, there's not a lot of education there. I think the education comes from teaching a process and repeating that process every single day the education comes from repeating what somebody else is doing um but i don't day trade very much anymore so most of these trades are swing trades so spy this was a big indicator for me and this is mainly what we're going to talk about today so we're just going to jump right into this and uh, discuss the the whole topic for tonight so all right, guys, y'all have a good night. We will see you next Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.